you know what it is. Unique Mac Audio, man. I'm here, man. I got a female up here. I want y'all to see what it's like to do time in the female prison. So I got Keisha Key Baby called a case in Arizona. I want y'all to check it out. And I'm definitely going to have to give her the three gunshots because she official. She going to give you what time it is. You know, if you, you already know the deal. If you're a rat bastard, just tune out. You know what I mean? This ain't for you right now. All right? Let, let's, let's bring Keisha up here. Bam. You know, uh, hey, tell them who you are and where you're from and um, what, you, what you caught your case for exactly so they know, all right? Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Keisha, a.k.a. Key Baby. I caught my case in, well, it ain't Tucson, Arizona. It was in Nogales, uh, the border. I was coming across the border, and I got charged with um, importation of methamphetamine and conspiracy to transport illegals for profit. And where I'm from, I can say... I'm from everywhere, but Arizona and Texas is my home. So that's what it is. Mm, all right, all right, all right, all right. So now you had an importation of methamphetamines coming across the border. Mm hmm Okay, what okay. made you decide to go across the border? Or who? Not, not I mean, no name, but how did that come about to go cop, you know, across the border? Uh, because it was cheaper. <laughs> they go okay. straight to. Okay, let me let, let me say this. Let me see this. When when people are hustling, because I you know I was on the street and I started from the bottom all the way up. When people are hustling, we know it's cheaper in certain places, but certain places we don't even think to go. Like we knew it was cheaper yeah. in Colombia, but not too many people went to Colombia. That's why mm -hmm. Frank Lucas' story was so big because he went all the way to V, you know, wherever and got it. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. so. You know, that's why I'm asking you. Okay, it was cheaper. So who, you went with a dude, you went with somebody. Whose idea was it to go over there? Well, I mean, just the uh, neighborhood that I'm from and everything. Like, I don't know if people really know about Arizona. It's like we're right there by the border and it's predominantly, you know, Mexicans and everything like that. So, you know, just being here, growing up, knowing people, know somebody that knows somebody and all that stuff like that. And I got hooked up over the border with some people and then it went from there. Oh, okay, now that makes sense. So you, you live by a border in town to the border? Yes, 45 minutes. Oh man, yes. no wonder, oh, I would have been filthy rich. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that, you would have, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you get the I mean, because, Yeah, that, 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 that's equivalent to somebody from Philly coming to New York to cop, which was the regular. You know what I mean? So to go cop over there and then bring it over here and you got all these other 52 states that, you know, the price is doubling and tripling and quadrupling as you go further away from the border, you know? Yeah. And, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, that was genius. So when you got sentenced, how much time did you get sentenced to and what did it feel like when you got sentenced? What was your feelings and emotions when that judge pronounced your sentence? I, when he said I got 48 months and five years probation, it was like, damn. But everybody else that was on the case, they all got probation and everything. And I'm the only one that got all this time. So I was like, I was mad. Shit. <laughs> mad as hell. Like, are you kidding me? And stuff, you know what I'm saying? But you know what it is when more, you know what I'm saying? Everybody mm -hmm. know what it is. Okay. So now you get chained up, shackled, and you get put on a you know, the prison bus, you know, I I, I assume 99% of the times you went through Oklahoma, right? Yeah, I went to, yeah, I mm -hmm. went to Oklahoma, but I wasn't on the bus. Uh, we flew out there from mm -hmm. Arizona. Yeah, Arizona, when they pulled so. up to the building, they, they, they mean, well, the prison that looked like a building, you don't even know it's a prison. I did a video on that. Like, on, on it's like a weird, it's, yeah, it's like a weird, it's like, I don't know. Describe how that looked to you yeah, when you first saw that building. Tell them how it that like building. A beehive. Huh? <laughs> it looked like a beehive. It looked like a beehive to me. Like you know how the beehives, how it's all circling, and then it got layers and everything like that. That's how okay the city is. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how exactly what I was, I was like. Damn, it looked like a beehive up in here. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so so let's talk about Arizona because I loved Arizona because we got a chance to see the beautiful women we went through Arizona. You know, you know how we be trying to holler at you on the plane and we shackled and you know we trying to be cool and we trying to holler and y'all looking, y'all trying to holler, trying to get you know certain information. You know, don't tell me you wasn't one of those. Uh, yeah, 
was trying to meet something. Some was yeah, of course, me. shoot. When I was yeah. in OK City, I was in there talking in the toilets and meeting people and all that, that stuff like that. <laughs> that's where I'm going. See, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to <laughs> lead it. So I want you to tell them. Now tell them about what it's like when we're in Oklahoma and we got to talk through the toilet to talk to the opposite sex because we're tired of talking to the same sex. Yeah, I mean, like that. Yeah. I met tell like a few it. people. Tell them how you how you doing? Oh, so they can oh my God! So now. like you just you know you sit on the toilet and you you know what I'm saying you sit on the toilet and you just keep going like this it's, you know like a plunger and stuff and then you, you get a cup and then you get the rest of it out you get your cleaning spray you spray the rest of it out and everything and you you know what I'm saying the paper rolled it up and everything like uh like where you could talk in it you can hear in it and stuff like that your head be all up in there and everything and you don't be thinking about you know all the rest of the stuff you just like shit. Here I am. I'm talking to a dude. You know what I'm saying? And like, okay, you know. So that's how we did it. All right. So let, let me anybody that say they didn't talk in the toilet yeah. is a damn lie. Huh? Tell them again. <laughs> let me break that down. Anybody right? that say they didn't talk in the toilet is a damn lie. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna break that down, right? I'm gonna pop off and pop you back on and all that, but I'm gonna pop off, <laughs> let you pop off, and check it. So now, what she just said is they got a toilet, right? That the men that goes upstairs and downstairs. The women might be on the floor above us, two floors above us, or three floors uh, above us. So what we do is we take all the water out the toilet to get all the water out of the toilet. When it's that little bit at the bottom, you got to sit on it, like she said. That's why I was laughing and kind of like, pop, pop, you know what I mean, to to pull the water out so that you can get the water up, so you can scoop it out with the cup. Cause once you get the water all the way out, now you can holler in the vent and talk to the females downstairs or upstairs and that was the hotline i mean dudes be in the toilet till like five six in the morning you know what i mean uh uh, uh right or wrong keish <laughs> right uh, be on all night, night all night all morning just talking just talking and chatting it up and everything like there's you know what i'm saying i still have a friend that i met when i went to ok city and everything and i still talk to him this day and everything but he's you know what i'm saying he's doing a long long time they got him when he was 18 and stuff so you know he's doing a long time but i still conversate with him to this day that i met in the toilet so uh -huh. you know what i mean you hear what i just said that's why i let him know man where my cash app at put my cash app up on the screen man you know what i mean because this is crazy i'm giving y'all jewels you can't get nowhere else i just told you how we used to have dates through the toilet in the federal yep. prison in oklahoma yep. dudes is yep. there from 10 o'clock at night lock in until six yeah. o'clock in the morning when they open up and call breakfast you know what i mean right you, hear them, keys. <laughs> you hear them keys you jump up and everything like, act like you're not doing nothing <laughs> You know, because you don't want the police to know you hollering in the yep. court. You know what I mean? That was the You don't have any time I got caught. You know? So I, I'm, that's why, let's talk to the young men and young ladies, Keisha, and let them know, man, yo, if this is what you want to do to go on a date, to scoop water out of a toilet, no, you know no, what I mean? To talk, talk to the opposite do sex. Keep doing yeah. what you're doing, young men and young women. Right or wrong, sis? You show you right, right there. Mm -hmm. Straight facts. That's not you know, something y'all want to do. You know you what I'm see, saying? You see, we give jewels over here at Unique Mech Audio. You know, that's why I tell my people flash the cash app so you already know the game is to be so not, uh, uh, I mean, uh, 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 so not told. You know what I mean? You know what it is. So, you know, yeah. we just keep it going, man, and we move. But now, when you leave Oklahoma and you go through, let's say, um, you know, where did you go from Oklahoma, Greenville, or the? Uh, other I went. Okay, first one. The first time I went to Oklahoma, I went to Carsville, and then I had to sit there for a little while until they had an opening in Greenville, and then mm -hmm. I went back through Oklahoma, and then I went to straight to Greenville. So, mm -hmm. that's what I did. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so both time I talked like? on the toilet. <laughs> so. All right. So, what was it like when you first? You know, what was it like when you first walked into Greenville or to Carsdale, being that you went there first? Because I met a lot okay, of people. So, I mean, like Carswell and everything, like I, I never forget me and like 
some people we came on the bus together we was in oklahoma city together and we actually became you know cool and all that stuff like that but when we was walking and everything on the yard and they was trying to yell and like uh-uh don't be scared don't be scared and i remember the mexican the essay girl she was like who's scared who's scared and everything and i was just like looked at them and stuff like y'all men going with the bullshit i'm not here for that but anyways but i mean like they try you know they try to test your waters and everything and stuff but you know, it is what it is. That's all I can say <laughs> is what it is. But I mean, it's like, damn, I'm really here. I'm here. Like the biggest regret, like, damn, mm. I'm in prison and everything. I'm away from my son. I'm like, I got to do this time. I'm way out here and everything, even though, you know, I got family all over Texas, have family in Fort Worth, not even probably like 10 minutes away from the prison and stuff like that and everything. But I'm still like, you know, I was just like, damn my son that's all i was thinking about was like my son yeah man because i try and explain to him man you know so i'm gonna give you a visual because how many months you did how much time you did uh so i have 48 months and hell shit i don't know what was it what was the time thing um and then you get out on that all that other stuff and everything and like that, so, and all that crap. yeah i only went to the because COVID hit when I got to the halfway house. So I was at the halfway house for probably like two weeks. And then I was able to go to my granny house and everything on the ankle monitor. And I was on the ankle monitor for like five months. Couldn't do nothing, mm. nothing. Not a mm. thing, not a thing. <laughs> like, uh, all right, let, but let it was better to be in jail than prison though. <laughs> all right, check. You did 48 months, right? I did 300. The whole 48. I did 300 and like, 24 months and you did a lot of time in 24 months in federal prison so i'm gonna paint the picture so you understand what my life is i'm on youtube so that makes me a prime target for the dudes that can't get no views to try and eat my back out you know what i mean yeah. but I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna let you and those same dudes that's trying to eat my back out know why i'm so official and why i'm so cocky with it now check when i went in prison right i was 29 years old my daughter was 18 months old in 1993 i came home in 2020 i was now 56 years old from 29 years to 56 year old man walking out of federal prison and my 18 month old daughter is now 27 going on 28. i left an 18 month daughter to come home to a 28 year old woman you know what i mean picture that you know try and wrap your mind around living with that every night you know what i mean that's what i went through so that's why i'm telling the youth it's not worth it you know what i mean yeah i'm fly i'm all that you know what i mean i mean come on man i've been running the streets in new york since the 70s up and down the east coast did what i had to do been all out the country the dr and all that you know so you know i've been places and i've done things and i know people and i know who i am and i know my work you know what I mean? So that's why they say I'm cocky or whatever they want to say. But I tell them, gunshot to you rat bastards. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Got to give them the gunshots, you know? So, you know, that's where I'm at. But that's my life, man. What did you think when I was just expressing that to you? Let me get off okay, the okay. and you tell me what went through your mind when I expressed that. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, I tip my hat to you, you know what I'm saying? Because that's a lot of time and then being away from your child and you didn't even have a chance to really get to know your child. You know, your child was only 18 months and everything. And I tip my hat to you for that. You know what I'm saying? You stand strong, you stood, you, you did your stuff. And, but me personally, my son was, even though he was 15 when I went in, but it was always just me and my son. You know what I'm saying? My mama had died. My brother had died. So we really didn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had family, but my family wasn't there. They was against me or whatever and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, when I went, I was like, you know, I missed out on my son's prom, junior prom, senior prom, graduate. No, I was out. I just I had to watch my son walk across the stage on a video and everything like that. So, you know, being a mother, you know, a single mother raising your child and everything, not just him. I raised my niece too, my little brother's daughter too, you know what I'm saying? And everything is like, you know, I had a chance to, for them to, you know what I'm saying, grow up and be with me and everything. And they didn't know nobody but me. And then when you hear your child, you know what I'm saying, 
saying that me and TR, which is my niece and everything, felt like you gave up on us, you abandoned us when you went to prison and then, you know, hearing the hard times they had to endure while I was in prison and everything, you know, that takes a toll too, you know, but you, you didn't even get a chance to see your child grow. You didn't even get a chance to see your child, you know what I'm saying, do anything, first anything or nothing, you know, when she started walking, you know, potty training and stuff like that, you know, and it's, you know, that that's, that's sad. It's like, I really tip my hat to you for that. You know, but, you know, I'm not the only one that went through that. A lot of my comrades went through that, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the point that I'm making. A lot of my comrades from all over the United States that was a part of the war on drugs. That's what we went through and, you know, mm -hmm. had to come home and watching daughters want to fight daughters for, you know, what I mean, whatever, you know, daddy's yeah. attention, you know, daddy gave more attention to this baby mother and not that baby mother, yeah. not this daughter, not that daughter, the daughter feel a way. I mean, we got to deal with all of these different type of mood swings, man. But yeah, you know, life is hard, and it is. it's the choices that we choose to make. That's why I'm trying to yeah. help them choose the right way to go where they're supposed to go. That's why when I say, you know, I, I, I'm hard on the right, it's, you know what I mean, and flip -flop in public shows. It's because you know. Don't even enter the street so you don't have to stay true to the code. If you got to if you got to disagree with something that I'm saying as simple as under no circumstances, you tell no circumstances don't mean. But he did this, but she did that. But my mama got caught my this one that I got that one out. No circumstances. Oh, they kidnapped my mother. I had to go to the police. They shot my brother in the head. I had to go to the police. No excuses. Once you enter that street, everything go. You who you are, you do you, and that's what it is. You know what I mean? And a lot of these young ladies, they get caught up with us because we moving like that. They not really moving like that, but they trying to keep up with us. And before you know, when we hit up that, that, that bump in the road, they hit it with us. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah. We bring them in with us right or wrong talk about that sis how many of them right. different type of females you saw in there that was in there for another man you know what i mean for a man not for nothing they did but something they did for a man you know what i mean so young ladies talk to them and let them know a couple of scenarios i know you know a couple of females in there and you think back and say man that was one dumb ass behind you know what i mean yeah, yeah. you know give, give us one real quick mm -hmm. i want to pop off and let you tell us one all right you got one in mind okay yeah i got one all right, let me hear I one. Oh, one. Oh, hey, this is what we gonna call, but 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 I, I love him, Biatch. <laughs> you know, this is the girl telling her, her girlfriend she did this to commit a crime to do all this time in prison because I love him, Biatch. He you know, love I mean, me. He you love know? me. Nah, bitch, he don't love you. Where he at now? Where is he oh, at? You up in oh. here doing your shit, you doing the time for this nigga and everything, and that nigga just out there with the next bitch about to get her caught up, and then she all gonna right. come in, and then he gonna move on to the next bitch. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's like, give us uh, a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't want and, and everything. Right. She she went down. She got 12 years for her dude, but she looked like you said, she loved him and all that stuff like that. And, and all that stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she getting mad at everybody because he ain't broke or he ain't came to visit her or he ain't sent no money and all this stuff like that and everything. You know what I'm saying? Nah, stupid. So he with the next bitch. Shit, doing what you used to do. And now her dumb ass about to get caught up. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. If you're going to get a case, you know what I'm saying? Get a case on your own, not for no dude. Because, you know what I'm saying? They don't love nobody. I mean, it's a different day and age now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could have, like, back in the days, you know, some of these guys would have like my woman ain't got nothing to do with it and everything, even though she was all up in the mix on there, you know what I'm saying? Hoo ha, whoop, whoop, and all that stuff like that. And stuff that tell it down. But the new day and age, a nigga will tell him, like, like, no, or you know what I'm saying, manipulate you, you know what I'm saying, get up in your mind, especially if you weak minded or anything like that. They'd be like, you know, baby, I need you to go do this. I need you to go, you know what I'm saying, go down for me, but I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna make sure you got money on your book. And these stupid, naive ass females, they believe that shit. And then when they get in prison, they left high and dry, like for reals, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if they wanna go do that stupid shit, don't go do it. But I advise you, don't do it because they're not gonna be there for you. Cause I don't seen a whole bunch of women up there slinging snot behind the honey man. Like, oh, I thought he loved me. He was supposed to be there for me. Nah, he ain't there for you. He there for the next one. He laid up with the next one. 
So, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead. <laughs> if you want to be that dummy, be that dummy. But I advise you not to. Hmm. All right. You see how she broke it down? This is the type of jewels we give you a unique make audio, man. You know what I mean? That's why the cash app on the screen. It ain't hard. You know what I mean? It ain't hard. Now, tell them what it's like, right? You know, because like they had I, the reason why I know all this about the, the female jail is because they had a thing with the computer where somebody hooked up a, 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 a server that could reroute from the federal prison into the joint. You know what I mean? They already caught it. Mm -hmm. So you rat bastards that want to try and sell he tell it. You know, well, that, be snitching. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now they had a joint that the male could send an email to this server and it forwards it over to the females. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it just take as long as it takes for the institution to get it there and they get it there instant. So the girls respond back and forth. I sat at that computer many a days just just texting back and forth with a, with, with a female and I, I, I'm enjoying the conversation and it's a good escape from beyond the walls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to me, yeah. that's something that they should definitely keep because I don't see it harming anybody. You know what I mean? But, you know, I've sat there texting all day. I mean, I put my headphones on, play my little, you know, Keisha Cole, and I get there and I get to talking my trash and she talk her trash back and I talk my trash. And, yo, that knocked out about a year of my bid. You know what I mean? I know everything that I did that helped me throughout that 26 years. Picture you doing 26 years. I just used that to get past one year. So every year I had to come up with a different gimmick to make it to the next year. Yeah. That's what my life was like for 26 years. You know? Now, I, I mean, yeah. Mm, this, when you got there, right? When you got, let me do this real professional like and look like I'm something. Hold up. Now, when you got to you know, the first woman's prison and you've seen a female come in, you know, with the long, pretty hair. And then the next week you see it, she got a Caesar, you know, like a dude. She wearing a pants, you know, sagging and wearing the baggy shirt. And she trying to, you know, look like a dude where you don't even see her breast, And she got a hair cut all the way bald. Tell them what that means and what that represents. So we know, because I had to learn this from that little computer thing that I'm telling you. Uh all right break, break that down what type of female that is and what's her purpose of that you know what's her rewards and punishments okay so let me explain it to you so basically <laughs> i ain't got none against the lgqt elemental p whatever community at all but you know what i'm saying when they come up in there and they turn into you know what i'm saying I mean, when I grew up, they was called, you know, bull divers, and then they went to, from bull divers to butchers, and then now they call studs and everything. So, you know, a lot of them females, they'll turn into a dude, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, either they don't got, a lot of them, they ain't got no money on their books, so they need a bitch to take care of them and everything like that. So they'll put their braids in and sag their clothes and everything, walk around like that and everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, they do that a lot too, you know, they about to, you know, they got other females fighting over them and all that stuff like that because I mean, like, you know, I don't hate, you know, so I don't get like that, but you know what I'm saying? They real pretty females and stuff, and they, you know what I'm saying, go up in there, you know, looking good and everything, and then the other females, you know, and you know, all that stuff like that. So they, they, it's just like, but the thing that gets me is, and then when you get out and you see them on Facebook, they wearing heels. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Up in the picture with the dudes and all that stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of them, they gonna, you know what I'm saying, go out there and they gonna, you know, go into prison and they gonna perpetrate like they just, you know, that and everything like that and stuff. And then you got some that real true life, you know, bulldoggers. I mean, I don't know what I could say now because you can't say nothing nowadays without people getting offended. But, you know, they go in there looking like a whole dude and they was looking like dudes out on the streets and stuff. And those are the ones that the females really get to cutting up. So you could you were going to get beat up and sliced and diced or whatever because you messed around with this girl and that's supposed to be this girl. But she playing both of you. <laughs> and it's like, I mean, like. I can't even like it's just wow. Like it's just I see some wild shit. Okay, 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 okay. Let, let's have some fun. Okay. So now here goes a girl. She done came in, she got the long pretty hair, she looking better than J Lo. You know what I mean? She got the dun -dun -dun and all that. Then you saying next week you see her, she shave her head off ball and yeah. she wearing her clothes sagging and she's walking around yeah. like a dude with the swag. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, yes. 
Yes, and pulling all them bitches. Well, mm. females, excuse me, because they're not pulling all them females and all that stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? She got a female in this pot. She got a female in that pot. She got a female in that pot. And then when they come together, they out there swabbing over her and all that stuff like that. And then when she get out, she forget about you. She wearing heels. She wear her dude. She don't have a baby. She, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Now, no, no, bitch. I remember when you was in prison. You was out like a straight dude. Now you wearing heels? Like, what part of, like, what part of the game is this? But that's how they do. They got a, they, a lot of them females do that just to survive. You know what I'm saying? Just to survive. Uh, all right. I'm going to give you one. I'm going to give you all one. I'm going to give you all one, you know, because I like to ride, you know. I'm, I'm going to give them a ride right now, Keisha. I'm going to pull you off. I'm going to give them a ride about, you know, one I dealt with in Aliceville, you know. All right. Let me, let, 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 let me tap my girl here. So, check. I'm on the little computer thing that I tell you about. I'm hitting this little female up and we going back and forth and you know what I mean? She even, you know, sends me, sends a picture to her people who send it to my people that text it to me. Oh, pretty girl with long, pretty black hair. She looking gorgeous. You know what I mean? I'm looking, I'm like, oh my God. You're like, what I wouldn't do for a woman like that. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm kicking and I'm all happy. I'm doing me. She, we going back and forth. And then now she's telling me about her roommate. Her roommate described herself. She's Cuban, you know, big, da -dun -da -dun, and thick. And you know what I mean? And they both like, you know, 25, 26. And, you know, dude been in for a minute. He still think he 29 when he went in. So, you know, that fascinated me. So I'm enjoying that for the moment. I'm writing them and we going back and forth. And then, you know, the roommate, you know, not the one I'm talking to, the roommate, she tells me, oh, yeah, she did her thing yesterday. She came in and she made a a, a, a dildo. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, what? She's like, yeah, she made a dildo. She tell me how they did their thing with the dildo and all that. So they did them. And then now um, I'm talking to uh, my little shorty and me and her cool, but she introduced me to her buddy. So now her buddy, she crosses her and tells me straight up that, Shorty, my shorty I'm talking to is a stud, got a bald head and everything, trying to use that to turn me off from her so that I kick it to her. You understand what I'm saying? Because she pretty and she's the femme and this one is, you know what I mean? You know, yeah, I mean. So, uh, you know, that's where we went with that. But it was like crazy because dealing with the two of them at the time and learning about the female prison was like amazing to me because it was totally different than the men's prison. You know what I mean? Now, tell them how the female prisons uh, differ, uh, you know, key baby. I mean, as far they, as, you know what I'm saying? Do huh? they push that knife? Do they push that knife? Do they, do they get aggressive? You know what I mean? Are they having, are they having sex? How Technically, this... yeah, tell them about the knife. when I was down, I've never get, see nobody get stabbed or anything. But I've seen bitches beating bitches with bitches. You know what I'm saying? I've seen all of that. So, but far as like the female prison and the men prison and all that stuff, it's it's a difference. It's a, it's a real big difference in everything because females always want to be females. Everything, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, they gonna get down. They gonna fight or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Unlike the men, y'all like to stab and choke and everything. And that's just like you know what I'm saying. Up in there, you know, I don't hurt of some females, you know, and hurt in the night, you know, females getting raped and all that stuff like that and everything. But our stuff is never as deep as y'all's. Hold on, hold on. Like, that's the difference. You say female getting raped. I know female getting raped. Hell yeah, rape, yeah. man. The oh, female yeah. rape story. How female get raped? Let me hear this. Let me hear this. Well, from my understanding, okay, so my understanding, I don't know what happened. Okay, so when I was in uh, Carswell, like we didn't have no bars and you know what I'm saying? It was open. All of it was open. We had the two stories and everything. It's always one guard in the thing, you know what I'm saying, in the thing and stuff like that. So lights out two o'clock in the morning and everything, you you be hearing the whole screen like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what no did you hear the next day and everything? They she don't, you know what I'm saying, they don't Took her cornbread, basically. You know what I'm saying? Like they, she done got violated and everything. I'm like, well, how in the hell is that possible? And that, from my understanding, they will hold your ass down. You know what I'm saying? Get their friends hold you down, and then they will sit on your face. They will, you know what I'm saying? Just grab them legs, open them legs up. They will get up in there and lick on your cooter and do all that nasty stuff. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, that's what they do. They doing that in the women's joints? Uh, yeah. I got to get one of those videos. <laughs> I know I know the police got to have the crazy videos of that, man. Oh, man, that's what they need to put on YouTube. You know what I mean? Females being, you know what I mean? But anyway, so that's where we at. But now, so, you know, you walking through the unit. Where did you work in the prison? When I was at Coswell, I worked in I was the guards. I cooked for them and everything. So I worked in their part and everything. So, you know, I had to connect on all the good shit. But the guards always got the good shit, the good seasoning and all that stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? And then when I went to um, Illinois and everything, I worked in the uh, rec area and stuff. So, you know, putting on the movies and stuff or, you know, helping with the games or whatever and stuff, the rec stuff and stuff like that. That's what I did. Okay, so when you was working in the wreck, what are some of the things you've seen with these females out there? You know, that one's oh in different God. units, they can't get together because they're in different <laughs> units and the only time they get to do that is in that wreck yard. <laughs> Tell them about that. <laughs> okay. <of> those <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? You know, I gotta give my hustle on, you know what I'm saying? Where I can, especially when you ain't got nobody but your son looking out for you and, you know what I'm saying, helping you out. Everybody else does, you know what I'm saying? Basically said F me and all that stuff like that. So I had to get my money the way I need to, you know. So I had, you know, the video screening room where, you know, they come in and put the movies on and stuff like that. I they used to pay me to go in there, you know what I'm saying? Do what they do. Y'all handle y'all business. I'll put the headphones on and be up in the TV like this. They be behind me doing whatever the fuck they want to do. I don't care. Handle your business, but pay me. When come Saturday, day, come home, make sure you have my stuff and this is gonna continue. So and that was in, you know what I'm saying, in Illinois. Mm. All right, yo, it's funny because, you know, like I said, yo, I'm going to keep it 100, you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I, I'm a, I'm a perv, whatever you want to call me, you know what I mean? Uh, DV, whatever you want to call me. But I used to write the females, and when I hit them up on that little joint, I tell them straight up, yo, I'm looking for a female that got a female, you know what I mean? That's willing to share the female, you know, mm -hmm. where everybody else was putting ads up there like, oh, I'm five, six, I got brown eyes. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm 170 pounds. I told them straight up. And I they were looking like straight. You know, they let them know where I'm at. You know what I mean? They so didn't say how they had no teeth. And... You know, but I'm, telling them, but I'm telling them what I want. So I had a few that I used to write that used to send me crazy sex letters. You know what I mean? And, you know, about, you know, their escapades that night where I had them giving me details on, you know, what went on that night from, you know, the, the police closed the door at 10 o'clock and you got to wait till he mm -hmm. walked through by 10, 20 to do the count. And when do y'all get busy? And you know what I mean? And they, they, and they went in and them girls is something else behind them closed doors, man. Behind them curtains. I ain't even, not even behind closed doors because when I was over there at, um, in, uh, in, in in uh Illinois and everything, you know what I'm saying? We had the open areas and all that stuff like that. So it's like they be up in there and everything, get this be, you know what I'm saying? Doing what they do and stuff. You hear it and stuff, or they be in the shower because the shower is right there. You be hearing like this one time, there was the girls in there was for in there for like a couple of hours and just bumping and groaning and stuff. And it was one chick. She came and she was like, I said, no, if you ain't got your man already, then she ain't that damn good. Like. You know what I'm saying? In the middle of the night, you be hearing that stuff. Like, maybe they be getting busy, and then they be like, all just piled up in the showers and stuff and everything in the bathroom, and you can't even get to, you know what I'm saying, the stall because they up in there, you know, getting it on, doing, you know what I'm saying, you know, whatever y'all do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so mm. they, and they you be, you know, my females is nasty and freaky, so. <laughs> Listen, you know what's crazy? Everything you just said, you would never in a million years that I know of, you know what I mean, while I was there, see men carrying on like that. Can't no man get with no man in front of no other man because that's like automatic stabbing. You know what I mean? If you see a man's yeah, genital, yeah. you got to stab him. You know what I mean? If you see a man, even you can't even think of seeing no shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah, you yeah, know, those yeah. are the ultimate disrespect in the federal male's prison. Yeah. You know what I mean? You ain't gonna see nobody going in the bathroom with nobody and going in the shower stall. Cause I be hearing, I used to get good letters from the girls about them going in the shower stalls and all that with their buddies. Yes. 
you, yep. you know, and all under the pavilion. And, you know, I mean, like, I'm like yep. the pavilion. I said, man, if two dudes even sat too close to each other under the pavilion, they was going to get stabbed up in the federal pens. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Come yeah. on, man. You know, even the yeah. dudes that was on that, they were walking with their little boy, girl, whatever. You know what I mean? They 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 keep a little distance in between them. They ain't gonna do the little romancy thing where people gotta see that. You know what I mean? That's how yeah. tight it is that they know better. I mean, we know what they're doing, but you know, they ain't gonna show us what they're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. All that little affection yeah. and all that be going on. We don't be doing all that, you know. But um they doing a the female prison. You know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you know, I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just wanted to tap in, man. You know, we're going to finish this up. You know, we're going to do a part two and a part three. We're going to do some more. I just wanted to give you an idea where we was at. So if there's anything mm -hmm. you want to say, go ahead and say it to the people. Now I'm going to pop off and give you the screen so they can see you. Ah. Uh... Okay. I want to put this out to my young women, whether you're black, white, Mexican, native, whatever, you know, Chinese, whatever, you know, I don't see them all. Like that lifestyle, going to prison and everything, that's that's not, it's not, not you know, it's, it's the best thing is, you know what I'm saying? Stay away from it. Stay away from it. Me personally and everything, growing up in a military family, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, my mom's side of the family is all about that life, but that's not a life you want to live because, you know, you're missing out a whole part of your life and it's it's not the biz. I mean, some of y'all will go in there, y'all be able to take it. And then some of y'all, y'all will not be able to go in there and take it you know, and everything like that. You know, you don't have people don't, you know, females that couldn't take it. You don't know, suicide walk and everything. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, be about, you know, be about something, be something because prison is not the way to go. It's not, you know, even though I went to prison, I don't, I regret it, but I don't regret it because, you know, going to prison changed my life. But that's not for everybody else because prison probably won't change your life for the better. It probably changed your life for the worse. But me, it changed my life for the better. It woke me up and made me see and realize a lot of things. But that's not the life you want to live. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, whether you black, white, Mexican, whatever, you're a queen. You are a queen. So you need to be that queen. But being in prison, you're not going to be that queen. Then once you get out, it's going to be a hard not life, baby girls. And that's all I got to say. Mm. You don't want to do it. All right. See, that was very well said. Very well said. See, that's what we give you here at the maker. We give you jewels, man. Nothing but jewels to prevent you from making the same mistakes that we made because we don't get down like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know, when I speak on like the cold, I let them know the cold of the street, how raw it is. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. Just plain oh. no telling. If that means you serve life in prison, that means you serve life in prison. Yes. Period. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I just let me just say this. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about everybody else, but I know me and my family, you know what I'm saying? On my mom's side of the family and everything. Snitching been instilled in us since we was kids. You don't go run on snitch, you don't do none of that stuff. You go tell on somebody, you getting whooped just and then the person you getting whooped too that you told on. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you need to take that. And you know what I'm saying, as a kid, but nowadays they don't do that. You know what I'm saying? They always snitch. They, it's, it's like snitching is a new trend or something now. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you don't say nothing. You knew what it was about. When you got into that life and everything, you knew what you was doing when you was doing it. So when you get caught up and they get to hitting you with them football digits and all that stuff like that and everything, that you want to be like, oh, yes, um, it was the fifth day of January and it was cold that day when he did that. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't do that. You stand your ground. If you can't stand your ground, don't be in that life. Y'all might say, yeah, I could do it. I'm not no snitch. On, but as soon as they get you and you get all them police and everything in front of you, talk about they're going to take your kids, talk about they're going to do this, they're going to do like They told me every kind of thing. But I stood my ground on mine. I stood on mine. But if you can't do it, don't be about that life. Stay out that life. Like, for real. Because it ain't for you. It's not. All uh, right. See, that's what I'm saying. We just get right to the point, man. There's no, there, there's no in between. There's no but this, but that. I mean, come on with that crap, man. Stop yeah. it. You know, that's why I say identify For real? yourself. I identify myself who I am. I'm just asking you to do the same. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I have a choice if I want to deal with your rat bastard ass or not, which of course man. it'll be not. But at least we man. know that we can't be nothing. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Mm -hmm. you know? 
So exactly. yeah, that, that's where we at, man. So we're about to tap out. Yo, it was a pleasure. We'll probably finish up tomorrow night because it's late as hell right now. And I want to give them something today. So I'm going to just drop yes. that and do, a bop and do what I do, you know? All right. Yeah, I feel you. I got you. Okay. I got you. Uh, we, we, we can do it now and do it for the show. Tell them how we met, you know? On that dang on computer thing that you was talking about. <laughs> and then the thing about it is, like, we became, like, cool. Like, it wasn't even, like, no relationship thing or anything like that. It was, like, you became, like, a, my brother and everything and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We always wrote letters. And then you had me hooking you up with, I want to, like you said, you want a female that got a female. I said, okay, I got you. And I got you females that have females and stuff. And, you know, from there, you know, whatever y'all did, that's what y'all did. But, you know, me and you, we clicked on like a brother and sister basis, you know what I'm saying? Instead of like, you know, trying to, you know, hook up or whatever. So our shit was always talking about you trying, you spitting knowledge to me, you know, like you always have the, my, the game banger, the game. No, I'm not no game, but well, you know what I mean? Whatever you want to call me, but you know what I'm saying? But you always spit knowledge to me when I was going through it. You know, you I'll tell you what's going on. You helped me through it and all that stuff. And I respected you for that. You know what I'm saying? I still respect it. Still got love for you for that. And I'm mm -hmm. still glad that we're still friends and continue, you know what I'm saying, our relationship on that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. See, me and her went met in prison while she doing time. We was emailing each other through that server that I told you was rerouting it over there. Yep. And, you know, I ain't selling no dreams. I told her straight up, I just want a female that got a female. That's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't have that. <laughs> because she said she ain't had that. I said, no problem, baby. You know what I mean? On to the next one. You know what it is. I'm gonna find I, I, I'm gonna find something else so you can help me find a female that got a female and I'll find you a lame that wanna play your game. <laughs> you know what I but mean? But you <laughs> never found me no lame and you never hooked me up with nobody. Yeah, so shut up. Ain't none of my niggas lames, you know what I mean? And, hey, you know, I mean I and I wasn't asking for no lame. <laughs> I don't want yeah. no lame shit. I need somebody to go be 110, 110. Yeah, but I get one of my homies and, and they bust your little muscle and now you mad at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Because, I mean, we could be ruthless when it comes with a female now. You know Just what I mean? It's like I could be ruthless when it comes to men. Don't get it twisted. My name ain't Key Baby for nothing. You see all that trash she talking? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hook up with somebody up here in New York. And when they bust oh, her little God. heart muscle, uh, y'all know that I told y'all that I told her that I'm telling her now I told you so. All right? Okay. Yep. All right. I, I, I ain't even going to comment on that. You know what I mean? All right, because ain't nothing like talk to a dude on the street. Yo, Unique Mecca Audio, man, I'm tapping out. It was a pleasure. You know what I mean? And uh, like, subscribe, share, and all that other crap. All right. So Let's show. Cheers, 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 Fresh out the can of 26, yeah. he back on the strip, uh -huh. getting back in the mix, yeah. what he mentions a gift, Trust. you stand up ten toes down, and I suggest you pay attention to this, Real. take a little gully posse and put it in home, uh -huh. he cut from the bottom, back. came up from the bottom, back. drop the book, you should go and get it, an Instagram page and a YouTube, you could go and visit, yeah. then you could consider yourself LinkedIn, Real. sit front row and get juice from a kingpin, uh -huh. how he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it, uh -huh. did not pay attention would be stupid, talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on Probably the reason that him and your grams got along A man that generated millions on the block Did his time, never squilling to the cops Make an audio Get it live like two G's in the night. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Treat her like my past, she behind me. What?
Spin a couple bands on the dapper Dan. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. No cap, it's a roaring uptown. Baby yeah. horn uptown, Dominican bust downs. Word. Now we on the positive. Word. You we got a lot to give. Yes. Now you trying to stop the kids from being an operative. Uh. So take heed, homie, lend the air. Uh. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. Uptown, but uptown. now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's nope. about buying property to make the community yard. So we can give back to the youth them. Cause they the truth them. And bless up to all the rude men. Yeah.